hello my dear students in the last class i explained uh, what uh, what is stress and um, what is perfect frame and uh, what is imperfect frame today's class we will discuss about what is statically uh, determinate stresses and what is statically indeterminate stresses statically determinate stresses that is given by m plus r is equal to 2j this is the same equation uh, what i have used for the perfect frame and imperfect frame m is equal to 2j minus r but here for that stresses it is written m plus r is equal to 2j then you can say the truss is statically determinate if m plus r is greater than 2j then we can say that um, uh, it is uh, truss uh, statically indeterminate okay so let us take this example we'll classify whether it is statically determinate or indeterminate uh dresses okay so first we have to calculate what are the uh, how many members are there in this uh, frame okay in this truss so uh, how many members are there just calculate count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 17 18 19 so the total number of members is equal to 19 then total number of reactions how many reactions are there here this is roller support right for roller support there is only one reaction that is vertical forces equal to 0 and this you can see that this is a hinged support so for that two number of the unknowns are two sigma vertical uh, sigma v equal to 0 and sigma h is equal to 0 so total number of reactions is equal to 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 number of the joints you have to count now how many joints are there well, just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so if the total number of joints are 11 so the members are 19 reactions equal to 3 and joints is equal to 11 so m plus r that is equal to 19 plus 3 that is 22 then 2j that is 11 into 2 that is equal to 22 so m plus r is equal to 2j so we can classify or we can say the truss is statically determinate okay in this way you can um, classify uh, the uh, determinate and indeterminate truss okay let us take one more example um, let us see you can see this is one now uh, truss and here uh, just count how many uh, members are there just see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 so the number of the members is equal to 15 now number of the reactions see here both are hinged support this is also hinged support this is also hinged support so a hinged support 2 plus 2 that is equal to 4 now number of the joints 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so the number of the joints is equal to 9 so m plus r that is equal to 15 plus 4 equal to 19 and 2j 9 into 2 that is equal to 18 so m plus r is greater than 2j so how you can classify it is statically indeterminate truss okay so um, mainly you have to see how many members are there how many reactions are there and how many joints so based on that you have the equation m plus r is equal to 2j if it is equal to if the equation satisfy then you can say that truss is statically determinate otherwise it is indeterminate okay so let us take one more uh, truss and uh, this you can see here uh, so how many members are there just count here that is um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so the number of the members are 12 and number of the reaction see this is uh, hinged support okay this is hinged support so 2 and this is roller support you can see here the small dot is there this is roller support okay so um, that is 1 so the number of the reaction is 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 so the number of the reactions is equal to 3 number of the joints 1 2 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the number of the joints is equal to 8. So, what is M plus R? M plus R is equal to 12 plus 3 that is equal to 15. 2j that is 8 into 2 that is equal to 16. So here m plus r is less than 2j. So we cannot say that it is statically determined or statically indeterminate because the equation is only for m plus r is equal to 2j and m plus r is greater than 2j. But here m plus r is less than 2j. So what you can say that the truss is internally unstable. So that is your statement. You cannot classify whether it is practically determinate or indeterminate so you can just mention that it is unstable okay so like this you can um, uh, classify or uh, uh, identify what are the uh, determinate trusses and indeterminate trusses i hope all of you understood now we'll i will just take uh, uh, the how to analyze the statically determinate trusses so actually here um, mainly there are two methods okay the following two analytical methods for finding out the forces in the members of a perfect frame are important from the subject point of view okay here perfect frame i have considered only for your the perfect frames are there so mainly there are two types the first one is method of joints and second one is method of sections okay so first we will see what is method of joints how you can calculate uh, or analyze the statically determined process using method of joints so here what happened in this method each and every joint is treated as a free body in equilibrium okay as shown in figure this is the figure given here here what you have to do here each and every joint is treated as a free body in equilibrium i think you have uh, studied this uh, free body diagram in your uh, first semester or second semester okay uh, let us see now uh, this is the diagram okay space diagram is given here this is two kilonewton this is one this is one so now i will uh, right uh, draw the free body diagram for the joint one this is the joint one this is joint two this is joint three how you can draw this is one and this is one member so if I, let us consider this is a compressive force and this is tensile force okay like this you can draw free body diagram suppose if you consider the joint two now we can take this is one free body diagram and this is one free body diagram means here one place and here this one so um, this is just an assumption sign this is compression this is also compression next at the joint three that is here how it is the free body diagram here one member here one member so um, it is uh, uh, tensile forces uh, are considered so this is just uh, uh, the free body diagram of the different uh, uh, joints okay in this uh, method of joints you have to draw the free body diagram and you have to assume the forces whether it is a compressive force or tensile force if you assume the force that then you get the positive answer then you can say that uh, the assumed direction is correct otherwise you have to change the direction okay so here um, what you have to do the unknown forces are determined by equilibrium equations that is sigma v equal to zero sigma h is equal to zero so sum of all the vertical forces and horizontal forces is equated to zero so in this equation it is very simple you have to consider the joint first draw the free body diagram then resolve into uh, vertically and horizontally and equate it to zero so here you have to make a note like uh, the members of the frame may be named by the joints at their ends or while selecting the joint for calculation work care should be taken that at any instant the joint should not contain more than two members in which the forces are unknown so this care you have to take means uh, there should be should not be more than two members in which the forces are unknown okay so uh, uh, by using uh, in this way you can uh, determine what are the different forces are uh, developed in the members next uh, we'll take other method that is method of uh, sections
here this is also called as method of moments here in this method uh, or this method is particularly convenient when the forces in the few members of a frame are required to be found out in this method a section line is passed through the member or members in which the forces are required to be found out as shown in figure means see same um, problem here also here this is the joint a b c okay joint uh, I mean, here you cannot use the word joint. This is the section. So, this is one A, B, C and uh, space diagram. Okay. So, first you have to consider the section. So, first consider this section 1, 1 uh, uh, here like this. It should pass through these two members and then section 2, 2 for this like this. Okay. So, this is section 1, 1, section 1, 1, right and support. Okay, so here uh, a, a part of the structure or any one side of the section line is then treated as a free body in equilibrium under the action of external forces as shown in the figure. Here the unknown forces are then found out by the application of equilibrium or the principles of statistics that is summation of moment equal to zero. But in the case of the joints, how it is? Summation of vertical forces equal to zero and horizontal forces equal to zero. But in the case of uh, uh, method of sections, you have to use the principle. I mean, summation of moment is equal to zero. Here also you have to take uh, one um, care. Like uh, while drawing the section line, care should be always taken uh, not to cut more than three members in which the forces are unknown. So this uh, you have to remember always the section should not cut more than three members in which the forces are unknown. So these two are the methods to calculate uh, uh, or analyze the frame, uh, analyze the determinate frames. But in your syllabus uh, only the method of, uh, they have not mentioned, we, usually we teach only the method of joints. So I will solve one problem, um, how to analyze the frame or how to find the forces uh, by using the method of joints in the next lecture. Thank you. Yeah.